What's up guys, I'm Tomaf7 and welcome to a brand new player ratings video on FIFA 16 and today we are covering FC Barcelona, one of the best teams in the world and one of the best teams to use on FIFA 16. So if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new to my channel and let me know in the comments below which team should I cover next and I'm downloading the FIFA 16 demo right now so you can expect a foot draft and a mini carrier mode series to start today either later today or probably early tomorrow i will do a full real madrid mini carrier mode on the demo which is going to be very exciting 18 games against the nine other teams so first of all lion msc his rating went up from 93 to 94 but uh, you can notice that his stats went down and that's because EA changed their overall rating system. Similarly, Luis Suarez's stats went down except his shooting which went up, he's now 90 rated. What a beast player and what a frontline. What a frontline Barcelona have. Neymar, his, his rating also went up by one. And his shooting actually also went down in his passing, but EA changed their rating system considerably. So now international reputation counts uh, much more and the club's reputation that you are playing for counts for much more. And yeah, let's see Andres Iniesta. He went down by one rating wise. Let's see what EA usually does when it comes to older players. His pace, his shooting uh, stayed the same, but his dribbling and his passing went down a little bit. And yeah, on the right you can see the FIFA 16 uh, cards and how the ratings were and how the stats were on FIFA 15. And on, on, the, on the left you can see the FIFA 16 cards. So yeah, FIFA 15 on the right, Busquets as you can see he was 85 on FIFA 15 and on the left you can see his FIFA 16 card, 86 rated and uh, not much changed in terms of uh, his stats, his defending went up a little bit which is uh, pretty good because he's a defensive midfielder and Gerard Piquet, his rating went up also even though his pace went down, his passing went down, his defending and his physical stayed the same, but he's now 84, sorry, 85 rated on uh, FIFA 15. And Ivan Rakitic, he's the next player that we are looking at. He was 83 rated on the previous year, and this time he's now 84 rated. And he also had a brilliant season. Most of these players had absolutely amazing seasons for Barcelona, winning the treble. So I wonder if they can keep that up this season. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, most of his stats stay the same. His passing went down and his uh, dribbling went up. Dani Alves, who, who is now 84 rated, his, his rating went up. And to be honest, I expected Dani Alves' rating to go down because of his age. But no, actually his defending and his physical improved, his passing is the only stat which went down but his overall rating went up and uh, Jordi Alba who again had a brilliant season for Barcelona, he is now, he improved massively by a plus 3 rating, he's now 84 rated and again he will be one of the most used left back on ultimate team and probably maybe on carrier mode as well uh, maybe david alaba is the only other left back who is better than him because he has everything he has pace he has the passing the defending the dribbling the physical is pretty decent as well for a five foot seven player to have 76 physical is pretty pretty good and arda turan is actually went down from his fifa 15 card he was 84 rated now he's 83 rated and uh, I'm not sure why because he had a decent season for Atletico Madrid his dribbling went up actually and his pace went down and his passing also went down so yeah Arturan he can't play until January in real life because of the transfer ban he can't be registered but on ultimate team you can try him out and I think on career mode he will be also on the Barcelona squad Mascherano, he's 83 rated now, I'm not sure, yeah, he stayed the same, that's what I thought, his pace went down, his defending went up actually, he also had a brilliant season 
for Barcelona. Jeremy Mathieu got a massive upgrade. He was already a very, very good, strong center back, but now he's even stronger. His physical and his defending went up, and also his pace stayed the same. And he's a very, very good, solid, reliable center back. In my, in my Spanish league squad on Ultimate Team, he was a very, very good player. Same with Bravo, who kept the same rating, but his diving went down. Uh, sadly and he's kicking as well a little bit but the, his other stats stayed the same Ter Stegen also stayed the same rating wise as you can see I hope you like this format that you can actually compare all the stats from FIFA 15 to FIFA 16 and how how they look like so I hope you guys like this uh, format that I'm working with here so Fermarlen is the next player and his rating actually went up even though he he never played for Barcelona, he played this season more games than last season, in the whole season he was injured for most of it, so uh, it's very strange that his rating actually went up, but I think that's it's, it's because of this new rating system, his defending also went up, which is very very interesting. Mark Bartra is one of the, one of the most promising uh, young centre-backs at Barcelona. As you can see, he was 76 rated on FIFA 15, now he's 80 rated, got a massive upgrade. And I will try him out definitely on Ultimate Team, 84 defending, 72 pace, very very good player. Alex Vidal, I haven't heard a lot about this guy, so I can't really comment, I don't know how what his rating was uh, on um, on FIFA 15 yeah he, he was actually a right back I'm just seeing it uh, here so <laughs> he got converted to a right midfielder and I think he's a new signing uh, for Barcelona and yeah I'm pretty sure he's a new signing and he can't play until January and he he has blistering pace and great dribbling but only three star skill moves a very interesting player, I, I will try him out and see what this guy all about. And the next player is Adriano, who is 79 rated. He got a big upgrade as well, he, he, even though he, he was second choice behind Jordi Alba, his defending actually went up by 4 and his dribbling as well. So he had a solid season. Rafinha is the next player, he's a very good, young, talented midfielder, he went from 78 to 79 rated and these are actually all the Barcelona players, Roberto also got a massive upgrade, he got upgraded by plus 3 and now to one of the biggest talents, Munir, who I'm not sure where he is in here, but yeah, he's in the attacking field. So he, was, he started out as a 66 rated player, as a striker, he got upgraded to a 71 rated right winger on FIFA 15 and now he's a 73 rated right winger. Sandro also got a, an upgrade, he was 69 rated if I remember uh, cor correctly, I think he was a, a striker, can't really find him here, but I remember using him. Douglas is another very good talented right back. Oh man, these, these Barcelona guys, they have so many talented players. Look at that, look at those stats. 87 pace, 72 dribbling, I will definitely try him out. And the last player on the list is uh, Masip, who had a very good, uh, very good potential on FIFA 15, if I remember correctly. And he got upgraded from 70 to 71, and his stats got a little bit better, his reflexes got better, and his positioning got better by 3. So that's it for the Barcelona player ratings. These are the official FIFA 16 player ratings for FC Barcelona. EA just revealed it, so it's breaking news. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, leave a like. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Goodbye.